Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Happy to start your Monday morning off with the PWCC weekly auction recap for auction number 62 that ended last night, March 26th. It's the morning of March 27th, bright and early. Hopefully I can get this out and upload it to YouTube so you guys can see this with the quickness, as they used to say here in South Louisiana. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's get through it. I'm shooting for 30 minutes today. I've got about 20 cards pulled up in card ladder so we can look at some data as well. Starting off, card number 96 is a 1997 Jambalaya Grant Hill. Uh, the original and the die cut, 1530 for that card. It's a pop three. There are nine higher graded cards. Uh, white Sparkle PSA 9 SGA 1590. It looks like he is going to sprint through the finish line. He is having an incredible season. I'll be honest with you, I got both hands raised. I thought this was going to be one of the worst teams in the entire NBA, and they're trying to force their way into the playoff picture uh, behind, on the backs of just two just absolutely phenomenal do-everything guards, combo guards, great length, great size. Uh, SGA is just start to finish, had an incredible uh, season. 1590 for that one. A Kobe Gold Standard 7-9 autograph. Uh, this is only serial number to 149, does 1590. And then two guys that, and I can't figure out in what way possible these two guys should be on a card together. They're in no way similar, familiar, their origins, are, everything about them is different. It just seems like an odd pairing, but uh, crazy looking patches, if those are in fact patches, uh, which I think they are, a St. Vincent, St. Mary's patch, and then a Memphis patch, 1,590 for this uh, gigantic, for you, you guys who haven't seen these, uh, this is a humongous uh, slab for this uh, dual-faced open-up card. Uh, dual patch auto, serial number to 50, BGS 8, LeBron and Penny Hardaway does 1590. Uh, let's go ahead and look up the Doncic Silver Prism and get it over with. Two of them sold, 1620, 1650. Let's just take a quick peek. This is over the last month, what I'm seeing. Uh, Pop 2,188. Again, remember, this is sort of his flagship commodity rookie card from the Prism product in the silver parallel. It's 7.2% uh, down over the last month. Um, which is, you know, honest to God, it's honestly kind of flat. But if we zoom out, it's obviously a little bit worse. Uh, if we zoom out to six months, it's even, uh, well, about the same. So down 8 to 10% over the last six months. Over the last month, down 7%. If we look at just the last two weeks, down 5%. So uh, we know where it is, and it's looking more and more like they may not even make the playoffs. It's obviously, as I predicted, a disaster trying to put Kyrie Irving on the same court with him because nobody can guard on that team. They traded away their best defender for a uh, turnstile defender in Kyrie Irving. They have no size. They have no rim protection. They have no toughness. They have no heart. They have a terrible coach. Sorry, I said it. He's terrible. He coached my Bucks, and he's terrible. Um, anyway, smoke and mirrors. When you get the best, one of the best players in the world, you can look like you know what you're doing as a coach, but he doesn't. Uh, and then 1996 Flair Showcase, Row Zero, Kobe Bryant, BGS 9.5, does 1710. Sorry, I skipped over this Tyrese Halliburton. This is a uh, flawless signature prime materials, PSA 9 with a 10 for the autograph. Teeny tiny little patch window there, 1650 for that serial number to 25 card. Sketches and swatches. Donovan Mitchell, 1770, a BVG8 Bird Magic rookie card from 1980 Tops, the 1770. Uh, pretty off center, PSA 7, Bill Russell. I would say this is a low end PSA 7 just because of the centering. That's just me. Again, edges and corners do look razor sharp. 1,770. Uh, again, that's not his rookie card. Remember, 57 is his rookie card. This would be his second card, um, second mainstream uh, release from 1961 Fleer. Uh, a select signature is Kobe Purple, 1,800. Uh, John Morant has a Panini Contenders Premium Autograph card, not serial numbered. BGS 9.5, minimum gem, does 1,830. The Tiger Stripe 9.5 SGA does 1,830. And then another Kobe Bryant, this one with a 10 subgrade. So this uh, quad gem does 1,710. Uh, this one has a 10 subgrade, exact same card, does 1830. So there's your premium, 120 bucks for the extra 10 subgrade. A Kevin Durant Chrome Refractor, these are serial number to 1499 from his rookie season in PSA 9, does 1860. Let's look up the Pippin 1988 Fleer, card number 20. I just ripped a box of this, and let me tell you, centering is a bitch. 
on these cars. It's very difficult to get these things centered. Uh, here's the Pippin. There's 251. The gym rate, as I stated, is a lot of this is due to centering. Uh, I just opened a fresh box. Beautiful. I even hit an extra Jordan sticker and an extra Jordan base, and it didn't matter because they're honest to God like PSA 6s uh, based on centering. Uh, the Pippin is a 1.99% gem rate, 251 out of 12,000 graded. So not rare. We know they're not rare, just like 86 is not rare. 87 is a little more rare, uh, but a 2% gem rate. Let's look at this Pippin over the last three months. It's down 9.65%, uh, 1,920. Uh, it sold last night about on the number from the last comp. So just depends on the card. LeBron James 2003 Pristine Refractor. This won't be the last one we'll see. There's a couple of variations of LeBron 2003 Pristine Refractors out there, not including the golds, just regular refractors. I think there's three. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Uh, so 2003 Toss Pristine Refractor, serial number to 149 BGS9. This is card number 103. That does just under 2,000. And then the flagship LeBron Tops Paper Card number 221, PSA 10, with really good looking centering on this one. Uh, if, as far as I can see, I'd have to zoom in. Does 1,980. The not as popular 1996 metal platinum portraits, uh, horizontal Michael Jordan, BGS 9.5, does 2,070. I'm happy to own that card in that grade. And that card in that grade. Uh, and the 2003 Tops box does 2130. A Kobe scoreboard auto PSA uh, authentic with a 10 for the autograph does 2130. Some kind of colored candy looking uh, dancing disco bubble Doncic red does 2190. This is the optic fast break red serial number to 85. 2190. Let's give vintage some love. Let's lovingly caress the cheeks, uh, facial cheeks, of course of uh, 1974 Tops, George Gervin, PSA 9. I've got the Iceman pulled up. Uh, great nickname, one of the greatest nicknames in the history of sport. Look how skinny this dude was, and that's what cocaine does to a man. Uh, when you're always snorting and you're never eating, this is what you're shaped like. Uh, but this George Gervin is a Pop 70, and it's your only option because a Pop 10 is a $26,000 card. So that's the big jump, and that's always the issue with these 70s cards is when you jump from like 9 to 10, shit gets crazy, and you get to a $25,000 card. So PSA 9 is a damn high grade, only a Pop 70. Uh, this card is getting murdered over the last six months, down 37%. For that Gervin PSA 9, keep that in, tuck that, tuck that back there because we're going to look at another uh, famous first ballot top 75 Hall of Famer from the 70s, PSA 9, who's on a similar track. Uh, next, we got a patch LeBron 2250, a Jordan PSA 2 2250, a Kobe X Fractor. These were hard to grade as well. 2003 Bowman Rookies and Stars, PSA 10. Wow, that's got to be a low pop. Yeah, pop five, serial number to 150. 2,370 bucks for that Kobe. Really good looking card there. <clears throat> 2003 Tops Pristine LeBron. This is another, uh, this is card number 102 refractor. It is numbered to 499. So the prior one was 103. It was numbered to 149. This one is 102. It is a higher serial number, but it's also a PSA 10. And just a damn good looking card. This card does 2,400. I thought I did not pull that up. Okay, I uh, did not pull that up. The Jordan 3 does 2400. A Doc 8.5 SGC slab does 2400. A really cool looking Jabba Rant. Uh, I think that's the Ohio Valley Conference patch. Uh, college card, of course. This is the National Treasures Collegiate College Silhouettes Signatures Conference logo. Serial number to one of one. This is a masterpiece. Uh, does 2520. Wow, interesting piece right there. You got, uh, you know, the best of the best, one of one. You got the best of the best, cool ass patches. And then you got the worst of the worst, college uniform, and then potential criminal behavior. So who knows what's going on with Jaws Market right now? I would have to do a deep dive on that. Uh, I'm sure some people are taking this opportunity. Maybe there's a dip. I haven't even really looked. I'd assume there has to be some kind of dip where people might be wavering on their confidence uh, regarding his off-the-court stuff. Maybe his cards have dipped, and maybe people are jumping in, and maybe some people are jumping out. And sometimes that's a, a fertile uh, situation for investors to jump in and make a killing. 2018 Prism uh, Mosaic Autographs Gold Serial Number to 10, PSA 10, SGA. <laughs> 2520 for that card. 
We're going to look up our first 1986 Fleer card. This is the Chris Mullen. This one's a little bit surprising to me, to be quite honest with you. I've got Mully pulled up. Of course, uh, he is a Hall of Famer rookie. Uh, chalk card number 77. Very low population for this card. And you want to talk about gem rates. There you go. 2% gem rate, just like the Pippin 88 Fleer. This is what the card's done over the last year. Uh, it sold last night for $25.20, which is the lowest this card has sold for in the last 14 sales. If we go back to two years, uh, this is, uh, other than a brief time period uh, when it dipped into the 1900s, this is pretty low. This is a really surprising to me. Like I thought of all the 86 Fleer stuff, this card would weather the storm really well. And I thought it might be back on the uptick, but it's not. I mean, that's a really low sale right there, 2520. And it doesn't look like it's severely off center for a 10 or anything like that. The centering looks pretty damn good, if you ask me. Uh, next, we got a Jordan PSA 4. So I think we've seen a 2, a 3, and a 4. 2520 for that one. A really cool uh, tie dyed patch auto for Steph Curry, 2640. And then a crown silhouettes. I think it's called oh sorry rookie silhouettes from crown royale uh does 2760 this one's serial number to only 11 wow that is a premium silhouette okay so serial number to 11 it's in raw right it's got that mike baker certified authentic where you can click it and look at the back and it'll show you a heat map with all you know what let me show you i'm gonna try to take a chance i'm gonna show you what this uh looks like so this is like a heat map is what they're i think they're calling it where mike baker's group looks at the card uh and then they kind of highlight so corner issues on on three of the four corners on the front corner issue on the top right back you can zoom in and look a little bit closer at the cards and even in these pictures i don't need mike baker to prove that those corners are issues right but that's not unusual with crown silhouettes those really are tough to grade uh, but just a just a cool look at how Mike Baker and his team, uh, you know, kind of grade, semi grade, pre grade the condition, and just kind of give you you know something to be on the lookout for if you're buying one of the raw cards off PWCC. So that was a raw Morant PSA 10 blue color match. Anthony Edwards does 2880. Another BVG bird magic. This one an 8.5 with a PWCC 30% sticker does 2880. Uh, an extremely off center. If we thought that that Russell 61 Fleer was off center. This looks terrible to me. I'm sorry. This does not look good. The left edge looks completely shredded. It looks way, way, way off center. And it got a PSA 7. Um, I know for a fact I just sent a bunch of 1988 Fleer cards that are going to be in much better condition than this and much better centering. And they're not going to get 7s. And so maybe uh, somebody was sleeping at PSA when they graded this one back in the uh, – it's an old label, so it's been a while – 2015, Jokic, it looks like that Embiid is going to sneak in here and steal this MVP. I really think it's Embiid's now. He is chasing it. He cares more about it. The narrative is swinging heavily in his favor. Even though Jokic just busted my bucks ass on national TV the other night, I still think Embiid's going to swoop in here and take this thing uh, just from voter uh, fatigue, having given it to Jokic for two years. We didn't know if uh, if that was going to factor in, and now it sounds like it's going to factor in. And Embiid, honest to God, has really stepped in here and really torn it up these last two, three, four weeks. He's a post-All-Star break. Embiid's been preposterous, absolutely preposterous. Uh, 2015, uh, Prism Silver, Jokic, PSA 10. Not a high pop card, people. We got it right here. Uh, pop 137, pretty high gem rate, almost 27%. That's what it's done over the last six months. Down 1.64, but it's not been a boring 1.64. It's not been a flat. It's been a way down to 1830, and then all the way as high as 3422 last sale a few days ago. I mean, you could have made 1600 bucks on that transition right there, but then it drops from 3422 to 3000, which was the comp before it as well. So about $3,000 is is what that Jokic card is going for right now in PSA 10. Dual patch, exquisite. Uh, Richard Jefferson, who's one of my favorite people to listen to on TV, to be honest with you. 3,000 for that pop three, serial number 24. Kobe, Richard Jefferson, dual patch, auto. Another Kobe autograph from 1998 tops, uh, 3,000. Gold Kaboom, the aforementioned Joel Embiid, probably, likely, our 2022-23 MVP. In a BGS 8, does 31-20. And then this was the other Hall of Famer from the 70s in the PSA 9 that we wanted to look up. It's the Bill Walton. It's a Pop 103, similar to Gervin. you got to jump to 15 grand if you want to get the PSA 10. And it's a Pop 3. This gem rate, look at this gem rate. 
0.18%. Tell me 1974 weren't tough to grade. That is about as low as I think I've ever seen for a base card. Uh, but this Bill Walton, similar to the Gervin, is getting kicked in the nuts, man. Down 37% over the last six months. Although this is a jump over the last two comps. So 2,800, 2,600 jumps to 3,100. So a good sign over the last two comps, but uh, down uh, over the last six months. Uh, moving along, fast break, signatures, Trey Young, BGS 9, 10, but this is a one of one. 3240 for this one of one Trey Young rookie card. Uh, downtown BGS 10. Yikes, what is the pop on that? I, they didn't even put it on here. It's got to be a super low, but a BGS 10 from 2016 Studio. Uh, 3240 for that one. A BGS 10 Hot Numbers Jordan. 3,240. I'm not looking it up. Aren't you proud of me? I usually look up all the Jordans. Uh, 86 Fleer Alvin Adams. Uh, 3,240. He looks like somebody from the Adams family, to be honest with you. He's a creepy looking dude. He's actually a pretty good player uh, for the Suns back in the uh, in the late 80s, mid to late 80s. Uh, Giannis Flawless Patch Auto, serial number 25, does 3360. Uh, here's a card that's near and dear to my heart. I actually just bought this exact card, this exact grade, uh, in the 90s auction.com auction uh, last week from my good friend Josh Adams. If you haven't checked it out, check out 90sauctions.com. Really cool auction house. They've got another one coming up in June. They've got two under their belt. Gets a little bigger and better every single time. My version's a little bit better than this one because it's centered. This one's not centered for a PSA 10. This one does 3360. I'm pretty sure I paid right at 3300 for mine. The sale before I've got it pulled up was 5000 So uh, it looks like this card's dipped. So 2900 The last one in January was five, and then this one was 3360 and I think mine was maybe 32, 3300 as well, something like that. Rolando Blackman, 86 Fleer, one of the lower pop commons does 3360. I shouldn't say common because Rolando Blackman was a hell of a player. Uh, formed a formidable backcourt with uh, the man child Derek Harper. Uh, he was sort of the CJ McCollum to Derek Harper. 3360 for that one. A Wilt one of one masterpiece quad patch. Uh, no auto, but quad patch. Again, this one's also uh, a Mike Baker Raw, 3600 for that card. Jordan Sticker, PSA 9, does 3600 A Paolo Banquero Duke Nike uh, Brotherhood card on there. I'm sure some North Carolina, probably 610 sports cards. Justin might have bought this card. Uh, I'm just kidding. He's a huge Carolina fan and played basketball for Carolina. I don't think he would be buying a Duke Brotherhood Paolo Banquero card. 3720 for that one of one. Uh, Raw, another Kobe Raw from Eminence, 3,960 uh, patch autograph rookie Jason Tatum. Uh, again, Raw, so Raw, 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 three Raw cards in a row. That's rare. Serial number to 99, so his true uh, RPA from Immaculate does 3,960. Uh, dual autograph Steph Curry and LaMelo Ball, strange pairing there. Another Raw, and then a blue label. Yuck, you can send that to BGS, and I think they'll change the label color if I'm not mistaken. But this is a uh, beautiful card. Patch autographed black ink here. Uh, Brandon Ingram, one of one, 4000 bucks. That's interesting. That is his rookie season. That seems like a low price for those of uh, us who still believe in Brandon Ingram. And I'm one of them. I do believe in Brandon Ingram. I'm not holding a big you know, treasure hoard of Ingram cards. But I think Ingram is going to have his day one of these uh, years coming up in the near future. Would help if he had his sidekick Zion available. 2003 SP Game Use exclusives LeBron 4200, a Kaboom Curry from 2015, early Kaboom here, 4440. That's a pop eight PSA 10 card right there. A Kareem PSA 9 sticker with a PWCC 15%. I appeal. Let's check it out. Here we go. Uh, pop 277. So similar to those cards from the 70s. You can't get the PSA 10 because it's $180,000. Uh, but this one jumps from the last sale of $3,300 all the way up to $4,560. Believe it or not, this 86 Fleer PSA 9 Kareem sticker is down uh, almost 10% over the last three months. And then, of course, we can see uh, that at one point it sold uh, for $10,000 back here. Obviously, it was a supremely elegant, exquisite copy here. But even over the last two years, this sticker's up 28%. What about the PSA 10? Over the last two years, down 25%. And one of these uh, I was lucky enough to be the seller on. Uh, so I got out at a good time. The PSA 10 is still going down. An E Campionissimi Lu Alcindor Mira Tutu Sport. Uh, PSA 6, that sounds Italian. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess. 
this is a, alleged to be a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rookie. I guess it's a sticker, it looks like, right? I don't know if it's a sticker or not. It looks like a sticker to me. It's from Europe, which makes me think sticker. Uh, 4560 for that pop 10, 6th graded higher. Uh, and then we've got a, uh, a BGS 9 Donovan Mitchell. We'll look up a 9.5 in a second. 4680 for that true National Treasures RPA. Autofocus LeBron PSA 9. Auto Authentic does 4800 uh, Dirk Nowitzki was definitely spending a night at the Roxbury when he took this picture. Uh, 1998 Ultra Platinum Medallion, serial number to an arbitrary 66. BGS 9.5 does 4,800. That's a men gem. Uh, Dirk, top five power forward that ever lived in the most likely NBA title uh, ever won, quite possibly. Not definitely, but quite possibly. That Mavericks team where he was the only all-star on that team and didn't really have a legitimate high-end sidekick either. 1994 Finest Jordan with coding PSA 10. Pretty rare card here. Let's look it up. I've got him somewhere in here. Here he is. Pop 147, 14% gem rate. That surprises me. I thought it would be lower. With the coding, PSA 10 does 4,800. This one's running, guys. 3,600, 4,300, 4,800. Very steady uptick, and that is over the last three months. Again, there's only so many of them out there. A lot of people are holding on to their Jordans right now. Uh, 1997 Ultra Platinum Medallion Tim Duncan Rookie, serial number to 100, pop 12. There are six graded higher, does 5,000 bucks. That seems crazy low to me. Tim Duncan rookie cards seem like a buy. I don't ever tell, I don't, I'm not going out and buying them. I own one, the PMG Red. That's it. It's the only Tim Duncan card I think I have in my entire collection. I'm not running out buying them, but if I was an investor and I wanted a conservative investment uh, player from the 90s, Tim Duncan would be very, very high on my list. Uh, the true RPA Kawhi Leonard BGS nine rookie card fifty five twenty. I think I might have looked that up. I did uh, down a little bit over the last one year. It's down thirty seven percent, but this one is up from the last two uh, comps. So. Who knows what's going on? It looks like Paul George was out forever, and then it looks like they carried him off the court, so you're thinking the worst. Now he might be back. I don't know if the Clippers have what it takes to get through the Nuggets or the Suns with a healthy Durant anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. Skybox PMG Red Retro Deal from 2008. Uh, Metal Universe Retro, 55-20 for this uh, Kobe. Uh, one of the best rookie cards uh, in existence for Tracy McGrady in a quad gem condition. This is his 1997 EX 2001 Essential Credentials. Serial number to 79 does 55-20. LeBron Chronology does 56-40. Uh, and then an Immaculate PSA 9. 10 for the auto, Doncic, serial number to 99, true immaculate, uh, sorry, true impeccable RPA does 5880. I'm not familiar with this, but I know these rainbow cards are crazy expensive and highly sought after. I don't really collect Jordan in the 2000s, but this is the 2004 Upper Deck Flight Team Rainbow Parallel Jordan BGS 9.5 Pop 12 card does 58.80 and then the Jordan Legacy Collection does only 6,000. That seems low because the BGS 9 is a decent grade for a Legacy Collection. These are serial number to 100. It does 6,000. Uh, Jordan PSA 8 does 6,000 and then a uh, Jordan Autograph NBA Finals Autograph serial number to 10 with the uh, it's the gold parallel with the blue BGS label does 6,300. LeBron Auto but it's a 9 for the auto and that's where you take some heat 6,300 and 8.5 and 8 and an 8 three Jordan 86 Fleers in a row right at the same number 6,300 6,600 6,600 Trey Young horizontal serial number to five rookie 6,900 that's the emerald parallel should be right green parallel sorry uh, 2018 Chronicles case a 12 count box I guess you're Doncic and Trey Young and Simons and Porter and those guys hunting uh, Chronicles, a relatively low-end product, but I guess there's some hits in here. 7200 for that. I'm not sure what that comes out to per box. Maybe 600 Does that sound right? I just did it right. Yeah, 600 I think 600 a box would come out to 7200 LeBron Black, one of one from uh, Select. This is the premier level. Uh, 7500 for that card in BGS 9. And then a uh, let's look up the true RPA for Donovan Mitchell in a 9.5. This is a 9.5 Donovan Mitchell. Let's look this up. Hang on real quick. Uh, see what we got. Mm, there he is. Pretty steady. Uh, jury's out. We're not sure what's going to happen with Cleveland. They might be a year early. They're, they're getting there. Mobley's progressing. 
Allen's, you know, somehow an all-star. Uh, Garland is progressing. Donovan Mitchell has proven he's going to be a problem with that team. They need to find that that fifth starter. They're not quite there yet, rolling around with Okoro and Jetty Osmond or whoever. Uh, maybe they'll figure it out uh, or Levert or whatever. I'm not really sure how they want to finish games. But uh, up 16% over the last six months. Over the last year, down 36%, but it looks like it's starting to steady out. Somewhere around an eight to $9,000 card is, I think we can comfortably say. Here's a card that I own in this exact grade, and I'm really surprised this card's not moving a little bit more. 8400 for this Jordan. It's the uh, 1998 East-West Refractor, and of course, Kobe Bryant's on the back. You just got to trust me. Uh, we're not going to look it up. Uh, over the last year, the card's down 13%. Over the last six months, the card's only sold three times, but it's down 16%. So uh, what was once a $10,000 card just got scooped up for 8400 It's only a pop 27 in uh, BGS 10. It does grade well. There's 160 64 BGS 9.5s, so there's a 76% gem rate for this card with uh, BGS, but only 27 pristine 10s out there, 91 PSA 10s. The PSA 10 sells for 8,000. The BGS 10 sells for 8,400. That doesn't seem right. It seems like the BGS 10 should sell for more than a $400 premium over the PSA 10, but what do I know? I am not a grader. And I am not a market analyst. Uh, a pack of 1961 Fleer graded by GA, uh, GA, GAI. I think it's GAI, but GA maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think they were a very reputable pack grader back in the day. You see more PSA stuff nowadays. But this GA or GAI, I'm not really sure. Uh, eight sold for 8,700. Sorry, that's uh, your Jerry West and Wilt and Oscar Robertson and, and those guys. You're chasing those guys. And then a, uh, an SPX autograph, Michael Jordan. I don't know a lot about this, but it comes with a certificate of authenticity. That autograph doesn't look like a 10 to me, but again, I'm not an autograph expert, so I'm not going to purport to be one, but here's your certificate of authenticity, and then they give you a big write-up, because I know there's something special about this. I just don't dig, uh, I don't, it's not that I don't dig them, I just don't collect Jordan autographs, so I'm ignorant when it comes to these. Read up on it, Bob. My understanding is it's a pretty rare uh, Jordan autograph card from 1996 SPX. 9000 bucks for that one in a BGS 9. A limited logos, rookie year. Uh, Dwayne Wade, 8.5, does 9300 A LeBron exquisite patch auto serial number to 58.5, does 10200 Uh Wilt Chamberlain, old SGC label. It's a SGC 7, 84, and the 100-point scale does 10200 That's a good-looking 7. So, like, compare that 7 to the Bill Russell that we saw earlier, and it's like there's no comparison. And then the Oscar Robertson, like this seven looks so much better than those two sevens, and uh, maybe that's why it sold for so much more. I don't know. Uh, that's just my guess, but you got to admit that that looks so much better than that Oscar Robertson seven that we looked at. Uh, Prism 2017 Gold Giannis Gem Plus. BGS 9.5 with a 10 for centering, uh, does 10,800. And then a case of Spectra, that's an eight count box. So uh, I'm gonna try it again. Uh, maybe 140, uh, I'm sorry, 1,400 per box. Does that sound right? Maybe somewhere around there. Um, let me know. I don't know. I'm not going to look that one up. 2003 Topps Chrome sealed box. I am going to look this up uh, because Card Ladder tracks these. Over the last month, these have started to move a little bit. Okay, so I thought I had done a couple of weeklies a few weeks ago where these were actually on the downtick pretty significantly. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. So these had uh, come crashing down, and it looks like the last two are actually up a little bit. Let's look at the last six months. Uh, not bad over the last six months, down 13%. But if we look at the last two years, it's going to be bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So people were paying thirty, forty thousand dollars for a box, or high thirties, low twenties, mid twenties, uh, and now they're down to twelve thousand a box. And of course. If the constituent cards within a box go down, then the box is going to go down as well. It just goes without saying. It uh, uh, doesn't take a genius to figure that out. This is Rushmore, by the way. So these are the top four. This is Everest. These are the final four. Uh, 1985 Nike Promo Jordan PSA 10. Boy, this card had its day. Uh, over the last six months, it's starting to move a little bit. It looks like to me, uh, especially if you would measure it from here, 9,600. This one sold for 15,000. That's a pretty serious jump right there. It's up 13% overall. Uh, again, this is the highest this card has sold for in the last 12 sales. So, uh, good sign for a Michael Jordan. Uh, what 
I guess some people would call a high pop rookie card PSA 10, 171, uh, 15,000. Good sale there for that Nike. That's a good indication right there. And then a Jordan PSA 9. Looks to be about an average PSA 9 just at first glance. Maybe the centering could be better, but if it was, maybe it would be a 10. I don't know. Uh, but this PSA 9 does 15,600. The last sale at 13,800 was the lowest in the last 34 sales. So maybe it was just a horrible looking nine. Let's look, let me look it up. It's on golden, uh, 13,800. This was the, uh, the worst Jordan. That's so, that is a terrible Jordan. The coloring's bad and the centering is really, really bad. And there's a print dot right there or a fish eye or whatever you want to call it. There's another mark right there. This is a horrible. There's another one in the label. This is the worst nine I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, so that one really didn't deserve to be a nine. So that would explain why it dropped all the way to 13, eight. This one jumps back to 15, six. So that's a good sign. The Jordan PSA nine is a pop 2,912 card. That is not a low pop card. Uh, but look at that card up 7% over the last three months. I've been trying to tell you all that the Jordan Fleer, even the PSA 7s, 8s, and 9s are actually moving upward in a market that is, in some cases, moving downward. Uh, and then we've got the other alleged rookie card, the XRC, the 1984 star, number 101, does 17,400 in a BGS 8. That is right on the number. It could not be any more consistent. It looks like that card has found a floor uh, over the last six months, down 10%, but... Uh, 17, 18, 17, 17. Uh, it looks like we're starting to steady out. And again, those can swing wildly based on the centering and the subgrades. And, you know, there's good eights and bad eights as we just looked at with the, uh, with the PSA 9 Jordan. So that's it. That's your Rushmore there. Uh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. A box where people are chasing Wade, Mello, and LeBron and TJ Ford. Uh, and then a case. Uh, makes it way up here. Spectra, usually not the most highly sought after product. Case does 11. Uh, and then Giannis, Wilt, and LeBron. And then the last row, Wade, Jordan, Sealed Pack, and then Jordan Kobe. So that is it, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you have a great week. This weekend, I believe, is the Mint in Vegas. And so I do want to uh, send out thoughts and prayers to all of the collectors um, and, uh, and even investors uh, and even uh, influencers and uh, social media content creators uh, within the hobby that are going to be traveling out to Vegas. You guys, uh, we will pray for you guys and hope you have safe travels there and back and have a fun uh, a fun, memorable trip in Las Vegas. Stay out of trouble. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but I would love it if we could watch some, uh, some videos and some clips and some IG reels of what does happen in Vegas. I'm jealous. Uh, my kid's sports schedule is not going to permit me to get out there, but I wish you all the best. I hope you have safe travels and, uh, and an efficient, uh, fruitful trip out there. Have fun at the Mint. It is in a hell of an event from what I've heard. Maybe next year. Uh, my next card show is going to end up being the National in Chicago. So uh, thank you guys as always for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and you want to get these PWCC recaps every single Monday morning, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. I try to get them out. Usually they're uploaded by 9 a.m. Central Time. So you guys know exactly what happened in the night before is PWC weekly auctions. Uh, I also do a recap uh, of the Golden Premier Auctions or the Golden Elite Auctions, I think they're called, and the PWCC monthly Premier Auctions as well. So uh, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby, and peace.